Hi guys. Welcome to the second episode of Herald level gameplay analysis in the How to in Dota 2 series featuring 12.7 as our spin. So today uh, we're gonna go back a little bit and we're gonna do a, a, a shorter video uh, because of uh, my discussion uh, in the comments section of the last video with Lexan. And I've pinned that uh, discussion for you guys to view uh, and read through. And in that, he basically goes over why he believes that the Stout Shield is one of the most important items for you guys to have in the early game. And after thinking about it and after talking to him, I, I definitely agree um, that it is. The reason I said to get more sustainable uh, regen is because I, I found that you guys were fighting a lot, uh, or at least in this game, 12-7 uh, and his comrades in, in, in the Lion, the Lich, the, the Ricky, um, let's just see their names actually. Hyper 23, oh well he's Hyper, <laughs> Surge X, uh, Pharos, and Ryan Infamous. We're fighting a lot with the enemy team in Killing You Easy, uh, Puddle Feeler, Mr. Yaks, Killer Ash, and Zubin El Ganubi. Okay, so because of all this fighting in the early game, uh, I felt that uh, you guys needed more sustain, and in this is the best way to sustain is to have a lot of regen in in the long run. But in the short run, in the early game, especially if you're fighting this much, the stout shield is important. Look at how much damage he's mitigating. Every time you see that 20 armor thing, that is stout shield blocking 20 damage. And just in that skirmish, let's take a look at how much damage Bara or Spirit Breaker blocked. So we're gonna we're gonna take a look at him, and we're gonna go um, directed, or not directed, hero chase, and we're gonna go for Barra. Okay, so he's got a south shield. He's got a ring of protection. This guy went full on tank. He's got six armor, and uh, on top of that, he's got a stout shield. So there's t one block. So that's 20 damage blocked. Let's see what happens here. That's two. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight times 20. 160 damage blocked. He would have been very close to death, but because he had the South Shield, he was able to block 120, or sorry, 160 worth of damage. And you'll see that again later when uh, Sven and Lion, or 12-7 and Surge, decide to go on killing you easy again. Uh, in, in, in a little bit here, in about 10 right now. So there's one blocked. There's two. There's three, four, five, six, seven, eight again. Nine. Nine damage blocked. And let's see where he was at on that last hit from Lion, okay? I want to see where he was at. Because it looks like he was about to die. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and there's a 20 damage. So he would have been dead if not for that stout shield easily. Uh, so he, he blocked another 160 right there. So that guy survived twice because of that stout shield. And look at that. He only had, what, three tangos? He's only used two and he's still sitting at uh, 190 HP. He would have been dead by now. I would have ideally liked him to TP back to base and charge in, so he didn't waste that last tango, but it's fine. Um, he needed to be here to keep the, the silencer alive, otherwise the silencer would have died. So there you guys see the power of the stout shield in this game. There's an example right there in the in the Spirit Breaker. Granted, he's got a lot of armor, but so does everyone else, especially from the tower. The tower gives you an extra, what is it? Uh, what's the aura? It gives you plus two, right? Uh, plus two, yep. So technically speaking, he had not just plus two from here, he also had he had four armor when he was near the tower. So whenever in this range, he had plus four armor. So that kept him alive. And honestly, I want to thank Lexan for, for pointing that out. And yeah, Stout Shield is a must-have for you if you're playing carry. Uh, Sven probably would not have needed to use that much regen, or 12-7 would not have needed to use that much regen if he had a stout shield. The Riki probably should have had a stout shield and a, and a quelling blade if he wanted to go carry here. 
even though ideally I would have liked him to hit level 2 or 3 before getting any last hits or attempting any last hits because the fade out time is way too long. Uh, it's what, 7.5 seconds? That probably, which is a lot of damage for a little Ricky to take because he's not going to be able to take to that. Um, we'll get into rotations and movements in the next full episode. So this was just a, a, a middle episode to, to keep you guys... Uh, or give you guys some more information and I wanted to make sure that Lexan's uh, information was relayed to you guys so you guys can use that in your next games. Uh, so keep that in mind if you're playing carry, especially if you're playing a melee carry uh, like the Sven on 12.7 and the Ricky and even the PL, Quelling Blade is pretty, or sorry, um, the, the Stout Shield is pretty important to have. So I hope you enjoy, guys enjoyed that video. Uh, leave your comment in the comment section below. Let me know how your next game goes if you play carry with a Stout Shield. Let me know how it feels. Uh, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon so you know when I go live, uh, when I stream, and also to uh, know when the next video is out, which I will try to put out by the end of the week. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.